Hello, radiographers. Hope you are doing good. Uh, today, I am going to show you the proper planning and technique positioning filming of the MRI ankle joint. So, MRI ankle joint is very important MRI and it's a critical MRI for planning uh, because of the uh, anatomical structure. So, without further ado, let's start the MRI. Uh, before starting, if you didn't subscribe my YouTube channel, please consider doing so. Subscribe my YouTube channel. I will give the link in the description and also follow my Facebook page. So first uh, start with the patient positioning. Uh, position the patient supine on supine position and feet pointing towards the magnet so the position will be feet first supine and place the ankle joint on the ankle and foot coil and the ankle should be 90 degree angle and if the ankle foot coil is not available you can use the knee coil and center the laser beam on the ankle joint over the ankle joint and now let's introduce the protocols first here you can see that uh, there is the two localizer at first the uh, first is localizer axial that means these protocols gives us only axial images and the second localizer is sagittal coronal and axial so next we plan this protocol over the first localizer to get the sagittal coronal and axial images and then pd sagittal t2 sagittal and t2 str sagittal and it's called team in siemens and then t2 star we sagittal so i will remove this protocol and then t1 coronal and t2 coronal and there is axial protocol also there is the axial protocols that one is t2 transverse and then pd fat set transverse and then t1 transverse so that's the protocols these are the protocols i will take so let's start from the beginning so you can see that my first localizer give me three axial images of the ankle joint. And now I will plan the second localizer for sagittal coronal and axial images over the first localizer. So now I am planning the second localizer. So you can see that I am planning for the second localizer that will give me sagittal, coronal and axial images of ankle joint. And after planning, I will click apply and adjust the angling properly. And now the second localizer is scanning. And after scanning, you can see that the three localizers will appear in the box. So this is the three localizer. The first one is the sagittal, the second one is the coronal, and the third one is the axial localizer. So, so the localizer gives us the primary images for planning the other protocols, other main protocols. And these localizers are low resolution T1 weighted images. And now I am planning for the PD sagittal. I am planning for the PD sagittal, for sagittal planning, 
plan on the coronal and axial images. So plan on these images and these images and the sagittal, on the sagittal localizer, there will be a box. So on the coronal image, make sure that the slices are parallel to the tibia. So this is the tibia and make sure that the slice or the block is parallel to the tibia. And on the axial image, make sure that the slices are perpendicular to the line between the medial and lateral meruli. The meruli are, didn't see here, didn't show here. So if you plan, if you can plan on the showing the mellulus, it will be better. But I am planning showing the tibia and fibula. I, I am imagining the angle of the tibia and fibula and angling the slice as, as this angle. And as I complete the PT sagittal planning, the T2 sagittal protocol has opened and I copied the plan from the PD sagittal. So no need to plan again. Just copy the slice and saturation from the other protocols. And also same for the T2 team sagittal. I copied the protocol planning from PD sagittal and click apply. So my three sagittal protocols have been planned and the scan will Continue after, after by after. And now I am planning from the T1 coronal, for the T1 coronal. So for the coronal planning, plan on the sagittal localizer and axial localizer. And on the sagittal localizer, make sure that the slices are parallel to the tibia. So this is the tibia. So make sure the slices or the slice blocks is parallel to the tibia. And on the axial images, make sure that the slices are also parallel to the line along the medial and lateral malleoli. So again, there is no malleoli seen. It will be better to plan leaving the malleolus. So I planning here by viewing the tibia and fibula alignment. And by changing the sagittal image, make sure the slices are parallel to the tibia and also in parallel to the tibia and fibula alignment. So this is the planning for coronal images. So I'm planning T1 coronal and click apply as the plan finished. And for T2 steer coronal, just copy the slice and saturation from the T1 coronal planning and click apply. So my two coronal plans have finished and the scan will start after the consecutively the protocol have completed the scan. And now I'm planning for the axial images. There is three axial protocols, T2 axial or transverse, PD headset axial and T1 axial. So for axial images, plan on the sagittal and coronal images. So on the coronal images, make sure that the slices So on the coronal images, make sure that the slices are parallel to the tibio talar joint. So this is the tibia and this is the talus bone. And this joint is the tibio talar joint. And the slices should be parallel to this joint. And also, so I will go back slightly. And also on the sagittal image, make sure that the slices are 
the slices are parallel to the tibiotellar joint. So this is the tibia, this is the tibia, and this is the tellus bone. And this is the joint, tibiotellar joint, and make sure that the slices are parallel to, to this joint. And after proper planning, click this tick button or apply button. And now copy the planning for the PD headset transverse from the T2 transverse and also copy the planning for T1 transverse from the T2 transverse. So all my protocols have been planned and the scan will start spontaneously one by one. And my planning job has finished and now I will film the images or print the images. So this is the first film. This is the first film and this is the PD sagittal. So I select the four into five, four into five format. So there is 19 sagittal images and one reference image. And the second one is the T2 sagittal pin. And this is also a four into five format. And the, my third film is the T2 STR or team sagittal. And this is also four into five format. My fourth film is the T1 coronal. So for coronal, I I, I use a technique uh, so that the images are uh, fit the segment because the coronal images are a, a long image. So I select here five into four format so that the the columns are a little bit longer than the four into five format. The five into four. So look at the difference. Five into four gives us uh, one, two, three, four, four rows and one, two, three, five, five columns. So that the each segment is a little bit longer. So use five into four format for coronal images. And my fifth film is the T2 STR coronal. And this is also 5 into 4 format, 19 coronal images and 1 reference image. And my sixth one is a axial images. And I select here 5 into 4 format because there is 20 images. So if you have 25 images, you can use 5 into 5 format. This is a T2 axial image. And this black, this black spot is the HLS tendon. And these are the malleolus medial and lateral malleolus of the ankle joint and the tibia and fibula tibia and fibula and the calcaneum and the, my seventh film is the pd fat set axial and it's also 5 into 4 format so i I select uh, the seven film for my radiologist reporting. So hope you enjoyed the video and learned something. So if you enjoyed my video, please subscribe my channel and like, share and comment my on the, my video and like and follow my Facebook page. So thank you.